and hello again and here we are back in my drive and as you can see I've now fitted the wheels just to make sure all the spaces are correct and everything fits as it should which it does what I've not done yet is fit the discs to the front wheel because both these wheels are about to go off to be coated and colour matched so there's no point fitting discs at this point in time but yeah I'm pretty happy with it overall I've also been busy working on this area here the headlamp and the instrumentation area so let's just uh, zoom in on that area and you can see what I've been up to and so the combined speed attacker unit from Coso has now been delivered and I've got it fitted on the bike looks pretty good I've also now finished this bracket off and I've changed over the fasteners to new polished stainless steel ones next up is to take these aluminium parts to be seracoated in a satin black finish However, before I do that, I need to connect this headlamp cage to the underside of the gauge bracket. And that's why these bolts look a little over long. And to do that, I've just got a strip of aluminium here. And what I'll do is I'll drill it. It'll have four holes in it, two here and two at the end. And hopefully we'll get everything uh, bolted together and the whole thing then should be pretty damn steady and sturdy. And next I've got hold of a suitable Kawasaki Z headlamp. This one's a bit uh, battered, but it'll do for now. So as you can see, I've been playing around with a bit of CAD, cardboard edit design. I need to make the brackets to mount the headlamp to these brackets here on the headlamp cage. As it turns out, um, these brackets are inboard by 25 millimeters on each side in comparison to the mounts on the headlamp. So this uh, little bracket here will have to be stepped out by 25 mil something like that sort of like that not the uh, prettiest bracket in the world but it'll do the job I'll probably make uh, one or two more versions yet until I'm happy with the overall shape and then we'll, rep we'll uh, replicate it either in steel or aluminium so yeah that's the, uh, that's the way the headlamp will be mounted and now I've fitted an old pair of rental bars. Now they won't make the final build, but they'll do for now, just so you can see how it looks from the uh, rider's perspective. And now I've made these headlamp mounts from steel, as you can see, and next I need to get them painted. And so with headlamp brackets painted, I've now got them on the bike. Now I don't yet have the correct fasteners, but they are on order and they should be here soon. Now one change I have made is that it turned out the gap between the top of this headlamp cage and the gauge bracket turned out to be 20 millimeters and I just so happen to have some 20 mil black aluminium spacers. So I've used them, I've drilled the gauge mount and used those spacers to connect everything together. And I think that looks pretty good. And so looking at the rise eye view, you can see those two extra bolts here and here. And now I fitted the headlamp shell, which I've resprayed satin black. I won't fit the lens yet because I've still got to do some more work in terms of changing over the fastness to the correct size and so on. So for now, that's all I can do on the front end. And next, I need to remove the wheels from the bike, then knock out the wheel bearings before I send them off to be coated. And knocking out wheel bearings is always a bit of a fraught uh, activity because sometimes they come out easy and sometimes they don't. So anyway, hopefully these wheel bearings will come out without a fight. And so let's get started. And now the wheels out of the bike I hit my first problem because the spacer that sits between the two bearings is a really tight fit and it won't move normally it's a bit loose you know you can move it down a bit so you can access the side of the bearing and then get a rod from the far side and a hammer and slowly hammer it out but I can't do that with this particular one or at least I don't think I can so at this point I'm going to stop because I know a man He's got a, a suitable tool for getting these things out. He's got a, a bearing puller. So I'll have to go and see him tomorrow and hopefully we can get these bearings out without causing any damage to the wheels themselves. And next I made two simple alloy brackets to mount the front of the mudguard. Now I will have to get these coated in some way, probably in satin black, and I will have to get some better looking fasteners than these that I've used at the moment. But they're the only ones I had and so they'll do for now. And now I finally got the correct size fasteners for the headlamp bracket and gauge bracket and I fitted this chrome bezel. I've not yet fitted the lens in here because I don't want to risk damaging it when the bike is a little bit unstable at the moment. And that's really about as far as I can go this week. So the wheels are now going to have to be coated at cam coat and they'll be gone for at least two or three weeks I would imagine or even longer. 
So next then, in the next episode, I'm going to concentrate on the engine. We're going to start the engine build. And so that's it for now. And so thanks for watching and cheers.